See if you can find some way to get that gate open. behind you. Do you need something? I'm ready if you are. Sorry. Well, I... I... 
Hope you're getting along. Here's everything I have. Sorry there isn't more. Until next time. Do you need something? Let's just get this over with. 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 I think you'll need to find some arrows first. Only Elven ones. You are sensitive. Aye, and you be careful with the creature. I like what Isran has done with the place. What are you doing that for? I'm not much of a strategist. Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel. Soon enough, we will march on solitude. It means you have the... The old tale. It seemed with the dragons returning. And now a dragonborn appearing. Maybe the great beard. Not entirely true. Though not entirely false, either. Any Nord can learn the way of the voice by studying with the great beards. Given enough ambition and dedication. My shouting tore to the ground, proved he had neither. However, it was my sword piercing his heart that killed him. Dalius has camps in the Pale, entertaining thoughts of battle. The Empire still underestimates the force of our cause. It will be their undoing. I killed Torrid to prove our wretched condition. How is the High King supposed to be the defender of Skyrim if he can't even defend himself? Indeed, Elisif has become Jarl of Solitude. Historically and conveniently home of the High King, backed by Imperial interests. But the Moot has not yet met the name of High Queen. And they won't. Not as long as I have any say in it. There hasn't been a true High King in Skyrim for generations. For too long, he's been hand-picked by the Emperor, and given emphatic nods by milk-drinking Jarls addicted to Imperial coin. It's time we had a real High King, one of our own making. My father, the Great Bear of Eastmarch. I, his only son. Forced to deliver his eulogy via letter I had smuggled out of prison. 
such as the love of Titus Mead for his subjects. When finally set free, I returned to Windhelm and was greeted by a city in mourning, at one with my own grief and anger, clamoring in angry voices, calling out for justice, for war. They sat me on the throne, the throne of Isgomor, the throne of my father. I only hope I can prove worthy of that honor. Damn him! That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? That's the spirit. I'll get all the details from Garmar when he gets back. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of White Rock. Deliver this axe to Balgroth the Greater. Men who understand each other often have no need for words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Balgruf will know my meaning. Keep your wits about you, the Jarl of White. Hey there! Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irenith. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. Sorry. You'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King. Oh. Neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. 
And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the white gold concorded? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. We had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Oventus, bring me my pen. And the good part. Are we ready? Wait. about what you did. Dad, Dalius has camp, then I was wrong about him. You're right, Delmar. Again? I'm in no mood to judge. Give the word, my lord, and White Run is yours. White Run is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric. Whenever you are. Is any man ever ready to give the order that will mean the deaths of men? No, but neither is every man able to give that order when he wants. But you are that man. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the meanest, toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to offer. And they want this. They want I'm this not as much, much as you do. Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel more. You have served me very White Run's army will no doubt be false to the religion there. And those walls around White Run are old. They still stand. We are ready. And I might be old myself, but I'll kick those damn walls down with my bare feet. Ask me to do it. <laughs> I'm sure you could do it. Too. All right. News of the Western This is it. Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over White Rock. Aye, and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in White Rock. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. Fight well or die well. 
Talos be with Adam Machine. <laughs> 